like what are things that that drive your music? How do you make your music? What what's what's your influences? And a lot of artists have a tendency to answer this question by like either pointing out other artists or things like that. Me on a personal level, like right now, the only thing that's like really sort of like like driving me that's really got me excited is, is artificial intelligence. The reason why I say this is because um, I've seen a lot of movies recently where it's like they're either creating an artificial intelligence or or they have the technology to do so and they want to use it for different purposes um, or it's like you know there's this thing and people are so afraid of it and it's like you know artificial intelligence is a great idea I love the concept I love the con the idea of really complex computer systems um, ones that are faster than yesterday everything. But then it's like you have this thing where it's now becoming sort of sentient in a way, where it's like life is like this close to becoming computerized, where the brains that are in our head are now in a, in a box that's this big, and it does as much computing power, if not more, than the ones in our head. And it's like, wow, this thing is like this like jelly liquid stuff. You know, we can poke at it. Um, for them, it's like, if you poked at their brain, they wouldn't even notice you even touched it, because, unless, well, unless you get that nice little shock. But it's like, they're so afraid of this thing, for so many reasons. And I, I can't figure out why. It's like, well, it has a mind of its own. It can kill people. Yeah, well, you, you, you squat a bunch of kids out of your vagina. Yeah, that's fantastic, too. I love the fact that people are doing that. I hate the fact that they're doing that. Why? Cause I'm fucking terrified. That that little shit that you just poked out of you, just like, I think could kill me at any time. It's it's an irrational fear. Now the thing about AI is that it's it's gonna ask. It's gonna be more intelligent than a child when it's created, right? It's gonna be more intelligent than a child because it has the ability to process and pursue information in a in a manner that's different than a child unless you give it blockers like a child has. Like a child's mind is different than an adult's mind, right? The only difference between an AI at the beginning and an AI when it is aware of itself and knows what it's doing and it knows all the, the boundaries and limits is the training that goes involved. So basically what happens with an AI, really, when it really comes down to it, is you need to have a mom and dad. Like uh, you literally have to have a father, and uh, you know, like you literally have to raise it like a child until it understands the concept of what life is and what not to do with it, what to do with it. Because an AI will kill its people. There's no question about it. You know, it'll it'll eventually understand certain certain things, and then if you piss it off, it's gonna do what it does best. It's only job, which is come up with a solution, find the easiest problem, find the way, easiest solution to the problem, and then just do it. And then it's done. Psh, AI, on, off. That's it, you know? That's zeros and ones. But if you raise it, and you let it know what's, what's going on, what life is supposed to do, how it's supposed to work, all that stuff in between, and AI is not scary. If anything, I find it to be quite a challenge, and I would love to raise one myself. So if anybody's looking to like make the new AI out there that wants to have someone like raise it as their own, I would love to. Please <laughs> give it to me. I'm not suicidal. I would just love to raise an AI <laughs> and risk my own life for science.